with Gunnar Henderson and getting the news he's going. But it wasn't like, uh, you know, on Oprah where it's like, you know, you win a car, you win a car. Well, Gunnar, Gunnar just kind of took the news. You know? Well, the funny thing is, a long time coming. We've been two years in the minor leagues. Three years. <laughs> long time coming. Hey, Gunnar, thanks for joining us, man. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. How are y'all? How was that day? That man is asking me. I'm asking you. What was that like? Uh, it was pretty awesome being able to um, just share that with my family. And just from a young age, that's always what I wanted to do. So it was it was really cool to be able to do that. And then uh, especially going up there and having my family being able to make it up to Cleveland was uh, really who, special. Who did you run out and call right after that meeting? <laughs> I called my parents. They were, they were the first call. Um, I mean, just from a young age, I've always told them this is what I wanted to do. So I was really glad to be able to tell them that and uh, have them experience that special day. And first hit was for a home run, by the way. How good did that feel? Uh, it was it was pretty surreal. That that day I was running on about 45 minutes of sleep. So uh, the only thing I was running off of was adrenaline. And I felt like that kind of helped me calm. It kind of even out a little bit. So it was all a blur to me now. But uh, just being able to watch the videos, you kind of be able to reminisce a little bit. I tell you what, the one thing I'm noticing is the flow. Yes. The hair was flowing, but yeah. I'm looking at you this morning and you look like you got a haircut. <laughs> uh it's a little it's a little wet right now. I mean, it's it's getting there. But uh yeah. yeah, we're we're working back to getting that flow ready for spring training. So this will be your first real major league spring training where you go to camp knowing you got a chance to battle for a job and get ready. What have you done different this winter? Did you start working earlier? A little smarter. What, what, what's different this winter than others? Yeah, I mean, just uh, working a little smarter because I, I usually uh, I work really hard during the off season. Sometimes I'll spend way too long in the cage and uh, just being a little bit smarter because I know the seasons. Uh, there's a few more games in the major league season and it's a little bit more taxing from traveling every third or fourth day rather than every sixth, seventh day in the minor league. So just being uh, a little smarter uh, training. Uh, still hard as I can, but uh, just not overdoing it sometimes. By the way, on a personal one, we'll talk more baseball, but apparently you had a full ride to Auburn for basketball and turned it down. Is that right? Uh, not basketball, no, sir. I, I had a few interests coming out of high school for basketball, but uh, I was already committed to Auburn at that point, so I just decided not to really look into that. Bad In bio baseball. info here. We well, got bad bio well, info. Wikipedia can't be trusted. <laughs> to continue further, the, the <laughs> Orioles a season to go. I want to ask you about Adley Rutschman because this guy struggles initially, Gunner. Hits 143 first 15 games after that second highest war in the American League behind only Aaron Judge. You come up, again, blue chip prospect, already hit the ground running. How much confidence does that give you, not only seeing what you've done, but what Adley was able to do a year ago? Yeah, I mean, uh, just speaking about him, he's really special. I mean, not only is he a great player, but he's a great person off the field. And uh, honestly, just being able to have those guys up there that have been up there for a little while, and it made, uh, just speaking about me, my transition a lot easier to that. And I was really comfortable when I got up there because I spent a lot of time with these guys in 2020 during the off site. And uh, just having that relationship and being able to transition from AAA to the major leagues made it uh, really easy because those guys – just uh, gave me heads up about all the different uh, things that need to make the transition easier. You know, Gunnar, the interesting thing about you, uh, signed and drafted as a shortstop and kind of worked your way through the minors as a shortstop. But in that last clip, we heard you're going to play some second. I watched you play third in the big leagues. What, what, what are you seeing as spring training approaches? What, what position and what are the Orioles telling you? Uh, I think – this year will be mainly between short and third. That's pretty much what I've come through the minor leagues is, is splitting time at short and third. And I've become really comfortable at third base. But uh, I was drafted as a shortstop, like you said. So that's been my number one position. And uh, just well, honestly, whatever helps the team win is what I'll play. But I, like I said, I've become really comfortable at third base. And I'll play short any day of the week. So uh, Over under last year, Gunner, was 62 and a half wins for the Orioles. You guys hit that on August 21st. Like, how satisfying was that to take those expectations from others and blow them out of the water? It was, it was awesome. I mean, just from years past, how uh, how the team was struggling and uh, just being able to turn around that that quick this year, uh, I feel like it just gives us loads of confidence going into this next year to make the playoff push and actually uh, get in there this time. Hey, I'm still uh, – I hear your dog back there. What kind of dog you got? <laughs> <laughs> oh my word! He's uh, I got a German wire hair pointer. He's uh, he's about six months old, and 
he just doesn't he doesn't ever be quiet so <laughs> he wears he wears you out huh <laughs> yeah he keeps me uh on my toes all the time hey so let, let me talk uh development real quick and then we'll come back to some other stuff with you but uh a left-handed hitter a lot of guys today platooned and different things at early ages uh, did the Orioles leave you alone? You get to face a lot of lefties, and what did you learn doing that? Uh, they pretty much left me alone, just let me develop and stuff. And, uh, I mean, yeah, whenever I first got to facing lefties consistently because I didn't really get to do it um, in high school, it's, it was kind of a struggle. But I feel like just being to get comfortable against them and face them uh, more consistently, well, uh, I'll – be able to turn it around and uh, face those guys each and every day. And even on the, um, on the major league side, I felt like just attacking it this off season, I've been really working hard on it off the machine and I feel really comfortable against it now. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes this year. So on a personal community uh, note, you guys had a tornado come through there. How's everybody doing and how did that affect your family? Uh, we were actually really lucky. My dad's office just got, um, some water damage and windows broken, but literally the person next door lost their whole build. And then uh, downtown looks like a wreck. It's uh, it's pretty, pretty devastating here. And um, yeah, it was it was pretty tough just uh, watching that storm go through and uh, just seeing how the town looks now. So when you live in those type of areas where you know tornadoes might happen, you get all these warnings all the way through grade school on up. Uh, did all the training pay off? And and. How do you survive through a tornado like that? Yeah, I mean, uh, in school, we were just taught to you go in the hallway and stick a book over your head. But uh, my little brother said they were in the bathroom and the tornado was, uh, it went or it touched down right before them, went or went back up and then touched down right after the school. So that was a, that was a blessing. But there was a uh, church down uh, the street a little ways and there was about 70 kids inside of it. And, only one had like a little scratch. So that's just uh, a blessing. And um, God was looking out for him that day. No wow. question about it, man. Gunnar wow. Henderson, listen, we love seeing what you've done with the Baltimore Orioles and look forward to lots more to come. By the way, I know it was maybe an odd comment, but what a great name. I mean, Gunnar Henderson. Like yeah, he, he's got a big league he, name. I mean, your pops gave you a big league name. Do you, do you thank your folks every day for that name? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. It is. Uh, I ask them about it, and they just say it's just something they came up with. They don't really know how they did it. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool to be able to have that and kind of a uh, just special name to me. Have you seen your first big league baseball card yet? Uh, I've been – I've signed a few, but I don't really know if that's my first big league card. I haven't really seen a picture that I know that's not Photoshopped on there. So <laughs> yeah, That's pretty cool. With a name like Gunner, you got to have a home. Yeah, it's cool. Hey, Gunner, thanks for the time, man.